Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in. I decided to make a very short video just on how to revert the insert command back to the way it was before the latest uh, release of AutoCAD. If you're wondering what I mean, if you type insert, you now have this uh, kind of like a tool palette looking thing come up whenever you hit, hit the insert command. And uh, there's a couple reasons I don't like this. Uh, one is that it slows my drawing down, especially the first time I run the insert command. But also normally in a lar larger drawing with more blocks, this this operates very slowly. Also, it's, it um, it doesn't go away as as you notice once you once you've inserted the block, it just it just stays open, right? So there there is an auto hide with it, but I mean that I I don't like that either. So anyways, uh, if you want to revert back to the old insert command, it still exists in AutoCAD, but it's called classic insert now. And there, this might look more familiar. So the way I'm going to fix this, I'm actually going to edit a command alias. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I do have another uh, another video on my channel just on command aliases, but I'm just going to show you uh, how to do that. You'll basically just go to your manage tab, edit aliases, click this. That opens your PGP file. Scroll to the bottom of it. Don't worry about all this stuff up, up higher. You scroll, scroll to the bottom. And all these command aliases, these will take precedence. So as you can see, I already have a command alias for for I, classic insert. One thing I'll, I'll just note that if, if I make a command alias like this, it won't, or at least it should, shouldn't work. You can't uh, make your alias the same name as the insert command. The reason some people might do this is people who use AutoCAD infrequently, I notice a lot of them like to type out the whole command. So unfortunately, I don't think this will work. I'm, I'm going to save it and try it anyways, just for kicks. But right now, my command for classic insert is now I. By default, this I would, uh, would run the, the insert command. And there'll probably be a shortcut up here somewhere if I... If I uh, take the time to look for it yeah so right now the default if I deleted that line on the bottom would be just the normal insert command which is a uh, which is this dialog box now so anyways let's go back to this so since I've added this line of code down here it takes precedence over that line of code I was just messing with up there and this line of code probably won't work but we're gonna try it out anyways so anyways make sure you save this file before you close it. And now a lot of people think you have to restart AutoCAD to activate a command alias, but you don't. You just have to type a R-E-I-N-I-T at the command line, reinitialization, and click this PGP file and OK. So now when I hit I, enter, it should run my old, the classic insert, or uh, the insert we've been used to for about like what felt like at least 10 years, right? If I type insert and enter, it'll probably, it'll still run this. So I'm just showing you that just in case you, you tried that and it didn't work. So you can't, uh, you can't replace that, the full command name with an alias of the same name. So yeah, so this, you can auto hide it and it kind of, it kind of goes away, but, but still I, I'd prefer just to have my, my old insert command. So now. If I type I, I, I get just that. And for me, this is much, much quicker. So, so anyways, that's how I fixed my AutoCAD, basically reverted it back to what must be a 2018, 2018's insert command. So anyways, that concludes this quick little video. I hope you found it helpful and thanks very much for, for watching.